Our next class action relates to the work of election protection. A reminder, election protection is a grantee partner of Justice Aid this year, and election protection works to guarantee that every American voter has access to the polls. And they run a 24-hour hotline that is peopled by people with legal backgrounds. And I'm thrilled to announce that Ryan O'Connell, our own classmate and a key member of the Voter and Civic Engagement Initiative Steering Committee, is leading this charge. Ryan? Thanks, Therese, and good evening, everyone. We're looking for people with a legal background to help voters now through Election Day. Volunteers answer calls from voters on hotlines that election protection operates throughout the country. You can have a real impact doing this. Election protection helps a lot of voters and its needs are urgent. To give you an idea of the scale of election protections operations, in the 2018 elections, volunteers answered 75,000 calls. Now, those were midterm elections, so the volume of calls this time around will be much higher. So election protection is hoping to fill 15,000 time slots for volunteers. We're looking for lawyers, whether you're practicing or retired, and if you know a law student or a paralegal, they can volunteer too. If you don't have a legal background, you can help EP by serving as a poll monitor in your state. That's a very important role, but tonight I'm gonna to focus on those who have a legal background. We want to emphasize that election protection is nonpartisan. Election protection's goal is to help all Americans exercise their right to vote, whether they're Democrats or Republicans. If you volunteer for election protection, you will get credit for pro bono work. The program is flexible and the time commitment is very manageable. There are two hours of online training which you can schedule at your convenience. You sign up for a four to five hour time slot to talk to voters. You can take their calls at your home, at your office, whatever is most convenient. You can pick the day and the time when you're going to volunteer in advance so you can manage your schedule. And one important point, there is no cold calling here. Voters are calling you to get your advice. You can advise voters in your own state, or if you prefer, you can talk to voters in other regions. To do that, when you register with election protection, you enter your own zip code or a zip code for Washington, DC, like 20005. That way, you are linked to the DC hotline, and that shows you opportunities to talk to voters in other states. One of our college classmates, and McKinnon recently volunteered for election protection. She is very enthusiastic about her experience and found it very fulfilling. And she dealt with a broad variety of questions and voters and lives in the West, but she talked to people across the country. She plans to volunteer for another slot. Election protection volunteers give voters practical advice on key questions like these. How do I register? Can I vote early? If my polling station is closed, where can I go to vote? And if a voter at a polling station encounters an obstacle that is odd or unjustified, the volunteer passes that information on to election protection right away. In many cases, election protection can send a local lawyer to the polling station to try to resolve the issue right away. The link for registering is electionprotection.wetheaction.org slash volunteering. We hope that you will sign up for election protection. If you do, you'll make a real difference. Thank you, and back to Therese. Thank you, Ryan, for leading this really important class action volunteer initiative. We hope that many, many classmates volunteer. If you have friends who are lawyers or colleagues who are lawyers or no law students, let them know about this opportunity as well and just pop Ryan a note. 
Um, this is especially important in this critical election year when COVID-19 has not only impact the election, but is impacting the opportunity to volunteer at all. So thank you once again, Ryan.